One of the more compelling uses of the swept boss base is creating a 3D sweep. So these are two of the identical part that are non-parallel. And we're going to connect this by a wire, or what would be a wire, through a 3D sweep. So we'll require two things for this. We'll require the profile sketch, once again, as well as a 3D sketch to add in our path. So I'll go ahead and select out this face. And then draw in a circle. And then I can give this a dimension of 0.1 inches. And now I want to draw a sketch connecting this point to the center of this face. And so I'll quickly just create a sketch on this face just to add in a point at the center of that face. And this will just allow me to connect up the two sketches more easily. So now I can go ahead and come in to the sketch pulldown and choose 3D sketch. And I'll start by drawing out a line along the Z. So you'll see next to my mouse that there's an icon for along the Z with the yellow, which means that relation is going to get added. I can also change the plane that I'm sketching in by pressing tab. Just keep in mind that if you're unable to change the plane when you press tab, that you're essentially normal to that plane or pretty close to normal. So SolidWorks won't look at the other planes. But if I rotate this slightly or even switch to an isometric view, then I'll be able to toggle between all three of these planes. So once again, along the Z, and I'll give this a dimension, say about two inches. And I just want to make sure that this point is coincident to that center. And then I'll re-add that dimension. I want to do the same from this point, just along the Z. And then I want to draw another line out. This one in the ZX plane. And if you're having trouble figuring out what plane to draw in, you can look at the triad at the bottom and see how each plane would be oriented. So I'll go ahead and give this a length of an inch. Then I'm going to draw up a sketch vertically. And I'll change the plane so I can go up in the Y. Now I want to go ahead and make these two merged. And I want to make this line parallel to the top plane. Lastly, for our path, we want to add in three fillets of a half of an inch. And then I have my completed path. Lastly, I just need to create the sweep by choosing the profile and then the path. And then I can click OK. And I have that completed wire. 
And if I want as well, I could always add in an appearance. In this case, maybe a low gloss plastic. And there we have our completed wire.